welcome back to my channel. It is me, Allie, and I hope that you're all having an awesome day. I am here today with my huge unboxing for October 2016. If you're unfamiliar with any of these companies, I will link all the information in the description below if you're interested in checking it out. And I'll also link some previous unboxings that I've done on my channel if you want to get a wide variety of what they are all about. If you have any other questions or concerns after watching this video, just make sure to ask them in the comments below, and I will try my hardest to get back to you as soon as possible. And without further ado, we're going to get right into this unboxing. So the very first package that we're going to be unboxing today is by a company called DonoGifts.com. DonoGifts.com is basically a website where you can create your own handmade gift baskets and pretty much everything on their website is under $15. They have soaps, they have bath bombs, they have bath salts, they have facial products, they have glitters, etc. So pretty much catering towards the woman community. The very first thing that I am pulling out of this box is so so cute it is a soap now I got to pick this one out they said that they were going to send me like a mystery box of items to share with you all but I got to pick one item out on their website that I really really wanted and I saw this caramel apple soap and I thought that it was just so so cute especially for the fall fall is my favorite favorite season if you guys watch my channel you're probably sick of hearing me say that but fall is the absolute best and this just reminds me of like everything that is just so so awesome about the fall. So this is a little soap in the shape of a caramel apple and it actually has sprinkles on it as well. How sweet is that? Next up to go with the whole fall theme, this is probably one of the cutest things I've ever seen. It is a jack-o'-lantern bath bomb. Look at how cute this little guy is. This next item is freaking beautiful. These colors are just so, so vibrant. I'm not even sure what this is yet. I didn't like flip it over to see what this actual product is, but A, the colors are stunning, and B, it smells amazing. So let's see what this little mystery item is. This is the Bubble Scoops Rainbow, one scoop per bath, luxurious and creamy bubbles. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six of these in the box. That's a really, really good deal. And again, it smells so good and it looks so, so pretty. The next two items that they sent me are both facial and body products. The first item is the Siren Bath and Body Beach Babe Watermelon Clay Face Mask for Combination Skin. And the second item is the Sliced Grapefruit Whipped Body Butter. And the very final item is just a fun little item. It is a wine bottle topper and it has a little heart emoji on it. So, so cute! So that is it for DonutGifts.com. I would definitely give this company two thumbs way up. That was a lot of fun. Now we're going to be moving on to BoxyCharm. And BoxyCharm just rules so, so hard. The theme for this month is the Boxy Bazaar. So basically very like carnival-esque. And this is what the box looks like when I open it up. Usually we get like four to five items. It looks like we're getting one, two, three, four, five this month. The very first thing that we're getting in the BoxyCharm box for October 2016 is this Ivy Beauty Trio Eyeshadow Palette in the colors Three's Company, which I'm not quite sure what that means. Let's find out together if I can open this package up. There we go. Very, very pretty. These are like gorgeous, gorgeous colors. We're getting this really shimmery white color, a really shimmery gold color, and more of like a matte tan nude color. Next up, a hair product, and they are my favorite, favorite products to get in subscription services. I love testing out new hair products that I get in sub boxes. This is by a brand that I already know, Rio Geo. I'm in love with them. All their products are amazing. So this is the Brio Geo Blow Dry Perfection and Heat Protection Cream, and I actually just ran out of my heat protection cream, so this could not have come at a better time. Next. 
Next up we are getting a shimmer bronzer and this is by the brand Temp2 and this is more of a liquid bronzer. I've never used a liquid bronzer before. I just, just, just started experimenting with bronzer but I use more of the powder bronzer so this will be really fun to play around with. Let's put it on here. I definitely just used too much but I'm just swatching it to see what it looks like and it is way, way darker than my skin color right now. It is getting close to winter and I'm very, very pale at the moment, but this is definitely something that I can work with. The second to last item in the box for this month is this Star Looks Liquid Matte Lip Paint, and that kind of makes it seem like it is going to be very, very long lasting. First and foremost, this color is gorgeous. I am just obsessing with all of these really deep, dark fall colors. They are just so, so perfect for the season. So let's swatch it out and see how it feels on. I'm not really a huge matte lipstick fan. I feel like it's sometimes drying. This one definitely doesn't seem drying at all, but the color is so, so pretty. I love it. So if this does end up being like kind of drying, usually what I do with matte lipsticks is I'll just take some chapstick and wear it over it. But this color is, oh my gosh, it is so, so pretty. It kind of reminds me of what I'm wearing on my lips right now, but it's just, just a little like deeper. It's kind of more of a plum color. And the last item in the box of this month I am very, very pumped about. This is the Luxie Eye Blender Brush Pack, and it says BoxyCharm on it, so I'm not sure if this is like specifically made for BoxyCharm. It also says 100% vegan brushes, so that's really cool if you are vegan, but I am pretty much to the very end of the road with all the brushes that I have in my house. They have definitely all seen better days. So this is a, another item that could not have come at a better time. They're really, really pretty, like a really light, pale, baby pink color. And the brushes themselves are very, very soft. Another fabulous box by BoxyCharm. There's pretty much nothing bad I can say about that service at all. They are just, they're amazing. I really, really love them a lot. So now we're gonna be moving on to Ipsy. We have two more boxes left to unbox, and the next one is Ipsy. Technically it's a bag, I get it. We're unbagging, not unboxing. But this is what the bag looks like for this month. Oh my gosh, I love it, oh. This is probably my favorite bag I've ever received from Ipsy. I know for a while it was the Galaxy Print bag. This one just completely blew that bag away. I am obsessed with Halloween. It is my favorite, favorite holiday. And this is a little Halloween bag. It has witches and candy corn and ghosts and potions and witches hats and black cats and spell books. <sighs> Guys, the theme of this month is black magic. I'm just getting like way, way too excited about this month. It's just bringing so much happiness to my heart right now. So let's open up and hope that everything inside of here is equally as cool as the theme and the bag for this month. The very first thing that I'm pulling out is the Welcome to Nature Noya Natural Lipstick. And this is just a sample. It says sample right on the box. This has no sulfates, paraffins, or I can't even pronounce that last word, I apologize. And this is another super, super dark color. This is probably one of the darkest colors that I actually own now. Let's check it out and see how it looks on. Okay, so it's lighter than what it looks like. The What it, what it looks like, excuse me, is like a super, super deep purple, almost black kind of. And when you put it on, it's definitely darker than that first one that I swatched. It's really, really pretty. It does remind me of what I'm wearing again. But yeah, this is definitely darker than most of the lipsticks that I own and it's really pretty and it's not sticky at all. It goes on very, very smooth. Next up is the NYX NYX Vivid Bright. This is a eyeliner, I assume. Yeah, this is an eyeliner. And I swear they make these boxes like harder and harder to open. It's like super glued on. So I'm just basically ripping the box apart right now. No big deal. 
So this is another really big size. I know that they said that this is a sample size, but I never, ever, ever go through an entire lipstick. So this is pretty much the perfect size for me. And this looks like a full size product to me. So, so far, so good with this subscription service this month. And this is more of a like silver color. Very different, I've never used silver before. Goes on very, very wet and kind of thick. So this is really pretty, more for like costume jewelry. I can't see myself wearing this on like an everyday basis, but it is really fun. I mean, with Halloween next week, I definitely might give this a go. I'm gonna be a skeleton. Right now I'm wearing Adam's onesie. We were being a skeleton family for Halloween and we already had our Halloween party last weekend. So I had a skeleton onesie and he has one too. Mine is definitely tighter and his is a lot more comfy. His is like super comfy so I'm kind of like living in it right now. That's why I'm wearing this just because of like the whole Halloween season. But yes, I'm going to be a skeleton for actual Halloween as well. So I could definitely use this to kind of jazz up my skeleton makeup. Next up we are getting the Makeup Forever Professional Paris Ultra HD Foundation and this is the Best of Beauty Award winner for the Allure Magazine for 2015. This is definitely, definitely a sample size, but again a really decent sample size. This looks extremely light, and I know I'm pale, but this looks like really, really light. I'm gonna swatch it out on my skin right now. I feel like all of this stuff is kind of moldable and blendable. Yeah, this is like crazy white. I don't know if you can see that right there. I'll do like a little close up of all of these swatches on my hand towards the end of this video, but wow, this is really, really light. I don't think I'm gonna be able to use this one. Two things left and the next thing I'm pulling out is the Inspire Duo Brow Powder and these boxes are just like insane to open up. They put so much tape over everything. I know that they're trying to be safe but I can't open it up so I'm just going to rip this box open again just like the other box. I'm having a hard time even doing that. I actually just started doing my brows which they're not done right now as you can tell. They look terrible but I did learn kind of learn how to do my brows and it does make a big difference so I guess I understand what the hype is all about. So this is just a dual, a duo, excuse me, powder and it has two different colors, a lighter brown and a darker brown. And last but not least, this might be one of my favorite, favorite items in the bag for this month. Although that's kind of hard to say because I feel like everything in the bag for this month was really, really awesome. But this says Sarah Jessica Parker on it and I am a huge Sex in the City fan. I am just like obsessed with that show. I miss it so, so much. It is in my top five favorite shows of all time. And anytime I hear her name, I automatically think of Carrie Bradshaw and I just, I miss it so so much so this is a perfume and I think it's like one of those rolly perfumes yeah it's like one of those rolly perfumes wouldn't expect anything less it's very very fancy of her it smells oh it smells really good I don't really use perfumes too much I usually just do like body sprays so this is something new for me and I'm loving the size I could just throw this right into my bag That was definitely one of the better Ipsy bags that I've ever received. I am pretty much in love with every single thing that I got this month. And now we're going to be moving on to the final unboxing of this video and it is Pop Sugar Must Have. Pop Sugar Must Have used to be my favorite subscription service. I'm not sure if it still is my favorite subscription service. I feel like they have such potential to do such awesome things and they have done such freaking awesome things in the past. But recently, I feel like their boxes have kind of been slacking and just kind of without. So let's hope that this box kind of jazzes it all right up and brings it back to my number one spot. So this month is of course the October month and the theme is reinvention, warm, cozy, snuggly, inspiration, and happy. 
very happy with the first item that I'm pulling out of the box. This is the Lisa Sugar, founder of Pop Sugar, Power Your Happy, Work Hard, Play Nice, and Build Your Dream Life. If you guys watch my channel, you know that I'm a huge, huge book nerd, especially hardcover books like this one is. I don't necessarily know if this is the type of book that I would buy at the store, but it's always really nice to have another book to add to my collection. Next up we are getting the original mini makeup eraser. Remove your makeup with just water and as a teacher I am so digging this packaging. It looks like one of those cute little pink erasers that you use in grade school and we pretty much have these all over my classroom so A plus for the packaging. I have never seen a cloth that just removes your makeup with water so I'm intrigued. Let's check it out. I bet it's one of those like microfiber cloths and it kind of just like pulls your makeup off very different looking. It kind of looks like an eye mask, like something you would wear when you're going to sleep. And it doesn't feel too rough. Do you guys hear that? Jax is snoring away right now. He's like legit going to town on snoring right now. <laughs> Do you hear that? It might be just off, but yeah. He's on my bed right now, just sleeping and snoring away. He is like the laziest dog in the entire world. But anyways, back to this product, I'm kind of intrigued. It seems like a strange concept and it doesn't seem like you have a lot of like hand space to work with this, but I'm not going to judge it until I try it. So excited about this next item. Two thumbs, way up. I need to get my other thumb to put it way up. We are getting some hot chocolate and one of my favorite, favorite things about the fall time and about the winter time is just snuggling up on the couch and drinking some hot chocolate. But this is not just any hot chocolate, this is dark hot chocolate. And I personally am a dark hot chocolate fan. Let me know in the comments below if you're a milk chocolate fan, a white chocolate fan, or a dark chocolate fan. Dark chocolate is definitely where it is at for me. I love, love, love dark hot chocolate. So this is pretty cool. It is made with real chocolate and no artificial flavorings and you basically can either microwave it or stove top it. So far so good, this box is definitely making up for all the boxes that I haven't really been loving lately and Pop Sugar is slowly but surely making their way back up to the top or pretty much just staying at the top. So let's check out this next item, it is in some bubble wrap. It is a huge size, whatever it is. It is the Lalicious Brown Sugar Vanilla Shower Oil and a Bubble Bath. This cleanses and softens your skin. So big. And again, one of my favorite things about the fall and winter time is just running a really hot bath and putting some bubbles in it and basically just sitting in there for like a half hour. I'm notorious for basically sitting in a bath for like 30 to 45 minutes. I bring books in there sometimes. I play on my phone, which is probably not safe, but I try to be safe with it. But bubble baths are just really, really amazing. I used to love going to Lush Cosmetics, but they can get very, very expensive. So I don't know why I'm doing this with my hand right now. I'm sorry. But Lush Cosmetics can get very expensive, so it is really cool to get this in my box. And again, check out the size of this thing. There are three things left in the box, and I'm assuming this next item is either an add-on or a sponsored item. I say that because it is by Revlon, and pretty much any time they send something that you can just buy at the drugstore or buy at a grocery store, it is a sponsored item. I don't have the actual pamphlet right now, but I will check it when I am done, and I will write it in the little price tag when I do the little price tag on the right side of the video, or the left side of the video, whichever one it is. But this is the Revlon Coverstay Liquid Eye Pen, and it has a ball point. I am huge on liquid eyeliners. They are definitely my favorite. This is in the color black. It's the blackest black, which is pretty cool. Let's check it out. Oh wow, it actually has like a ballpoint. It looks like a pen that you would write with. Pretty cool. Let's check it out. So it's not as pigmented the first time that you kind of swatch it over. I kind of had to go over it like two or three times and then it gets really, really dark. When I do my eyeliner, I like it to be really, really drastic and dramatic and really dark. So this is really good. It goes on very smooth, but you might have to use like two or three swatches to make it really, really dark and noticeable.
Every time. Every single time. Jax, come say hi. Come say hi. Say hi. Say hi to your friends on YouTube. Say hi. He's a shy guy. But yes, there are two items left in the box, and the second to last item that I'm pulling out is by Henry Bendel, and I've never owned anything from Henry Bendel before. They are way, way too fancy for me, so this is pretty cool. We are getting an umbrella. Jack, say hi. Say hi to your friends. Look over there. Hi. Look over here. Look over there. No. Look over there. Jack, stop it. He thinks he's a lap dog. Jack, stop it. My little baby. My little baby. Say hi. Say hi, Jax. Okay, anyways, we are getting an umbrella and the colors are really, really pretty. It's just very plain, very natural. Guys, crazy, I swear. Anyways, it's very plain, it's very natural, it has some stripes, it says something on it, but I'm not going to open it up to check because I am one of those people who is superstitious and thinks that if you open up an umbrella inside, it is going to give you bad luck, and I don't want any bad luck. So, I'm sure it's very pretty. I will take a picture of it and I will put it on my Twitter feed, and I will let you know what it actually looks like. I'm sorry guys, I really apologize. He will be gone for the next clip. But yes, we're getting an umbrella, and you can never have enough umbrellas. Yep. And the final item that we're getting in the box for this month is this Rise and Shine Morning Culture. I'm going to assume mug because it says Rise and Shine, and I am right. We are getting this cute little mug. It says Rise and Shine on the front and Morning Culture on the back. It's actually really heavy, so I'm going to assume that this is pretty decent quality. And it is very simple, but I'm really liking the whole simplistic look lately. Just the whole back to basics look and just the bare minimums look. So this is really fun and I of course will get a lot of use out of it. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and you enjoyed my videos. I love you guys so much and I hope you have a beautiful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys!